Is that Earth you can see at a distance? Right. Just look at it, floating in space, hanging out with its planet buddies. You spot orange-red Mars and Jupiter with its asteroid belt. Even tiny Pluto is there. All these planets keep their distance from each other, moving along in their own orbits. They're not very social, you see. But that's a good thing. It would cause nothing but trouble if they started to bump into each other. But even though there are others, Earth is the only planet we know that has life. And we've even figured out why. It's because it was lucky enough to appear in the best spot in our solar system, in the Goldilocks zone. Scientists say the key ingredient for life is water. But, well, there's water on Mercury. This planet has deposits of water ice at its south and north poles, but only because those places never see the light. Everywhere else, water simply evaporates from the surface of the planet. Mercury is way too close to the sun. Pluto has some water too. Astronomers even think the dwarf planet might be up to 30% water, but it's frozen. Unlike Mercury, Pluto's too far away from the sun which is why all its water is in the form of ice. But Earth hovers in a perfect spot called the habitable zone. It has the right temperature for the water to remain liquid and for all forms of life to flourish. But what if Earth was the only planet in the solar system? No Mars, no Jupiter, no Mercury, no Venus. Things might have turned out a little different than what we're used to. Remember that massive asteroid that hit the Earth around 66 million years ago? Well, without Jupiter and its asteroid belt, our planet would be constantly hit by meteorites and asteroids. And some of them would be just as big as the one that caused all that sorrow to the dinosaurs. These rocky fellas would be roaming around in space with no one and nothing to stop them. And if Earth was the only planet out there, it would also be their only target. But that's not all. Look at all this huge space Earth would have all to itself. It means our planet would have an opportunity to travel a bit. It could even choose to leave the Goldilocks zone. But then, would life on the planet still be the same? So let's say Earth started drifting away from the sun. Then, it'd soon get too cold on the planet. Picture a place where the sun doesn't shine anymore. Dark, cold, covered in ice and snow all year round. That would be our Earth if it traveled further from the sun. If this happened, our cities would start to look very different. Right now, Earth is full of life. Come to any park and you'll see green trees and grass everywhere. There will be people walking, sitting on the benches, enjoying the sun. You'll definitely spot someone playing soccer or frisbee. On the park's lawns, there will be people resting on their blankets, soaking up the sun. A few people will be reading their books, looking relaxed and happy. Back in space, you see Earth again. The planet is still in its favorite spot. That's why life is so beautiful down there. But wait, is it moving? Our planet is definitely further from the sun now. Has it changed things for Earth? It actually looks a bit bluer now. Down there, famous Golden California is not so golden anymore. It's gloomy and dark. Much like all other places on Earth, New York is covered in ice. Even in the hottest places, the temperatures are now below freezing, including tropical destinations like the Bahamas. After a while, liquid water turns into ice. The oceans now look like giant skating rinks, Except, there's no one to skate there since the planet has become way too cold to support life. Okay, then what if, instead of drifting further away from the sun, Earth moved closer, with people still aboard? Whoa, the temperatures here are crazy, too hot to handle. The climate would be getting hotter and hotter. Natural disasters would start to occur more often. Hurricanes and floods would be a common thing on Earth now. And pretty soon, the planet would get too hot for people to handle. Particles from the sun would become a serious threat. The atmosphere would be struggling to protect Earth from solar radiation. But this shield would be growing weaker. Liquid water would be nowhere to be found anymore. 
maybe only in underground deposits, Earth would look a bit like Mars, all rocky and barren. The Mississippi River would dry up and leave behind a huge canyon. All the oceans would be gone too. At the moment, the Mariana Trench is the deepest known place on Earth. It's incredibly hard to reach its bottom because of the immense water pressure there. But without water, trips to the deepest spot on Earth would be possible. It would help people uncover some more of Earth's secrets. If people still lived on the dry and scorching hot planet, that is. In other words, if someone was to explore Earth after the planet had moved closer to the sun, everything would be completely different. But what if Earth didn't move at all and everything remained the same? The only difference, there would be no other planets around us. It would change the way people explore space. Sure, there would still be navigation, communication, and weather satellites, and maybe space telescopes. But there wouldn't be any other space objects close enough for people to send missions there. This would affect the future, too. If people had no desire or opportunity to go to space, they would invest in their home planet. They would build sky cities instead of looking for other planets to colonize. These days, if you get a state-of-the-art telescope, you'll see distant stars and other planets. The better the telescope, the more detail there is for you to see. But with no other planets out there, the picture of space wouldn't be so exciting. Stars would still be visible, and you might even spot a meteorite or two. And you'd definitely see the moon, but that's about it. Space agencies would mostly be focused on keeping Earth secure, mainly because asteroids would become frequent visitors. To protect the planet, scientists would have to figure out ways to get rid of them. Like a massive laser beam. When turned on, it could go all the way to the moon and even further. Instead of building rockets to explore space, SpaceX and NASA would be in the asteroid clearing business. People wouldn't even think of trying to contact other civilizations. If there were no planets similar to Earth, they would consider it a wasted effort. This means no radio signals being constantly sent out to space. A curious fact, in February of 2008, the Beatles song Across the Universe was beamed into deep space. It was done to celebrate both the song's 40th anniversary and NASA's 50th anniversary. In the 70s, people also sent a radio signal out into space. It contained some basic information about humans and the solar system. But it was more a feat of strength for technology than an attempt to contact any alien buddies we might have. With no planets around, the world of sci-fi would change too. There would be no more movies about deep space exploration. No massive spaceships and rockets would appear on the big screen. And since there would be no expeditions to other planets, no rovers would be sent to space to look for signs of life and explore new worlds, like what the rovers on Mars are doing right now. People would concentrate more on their own planet. For example, they would begin to explore its insides. New technologies would allow us to dig much, much deeper, all the way through Earth's crust and further. And doesn't a trip to the planet's core sound exciting? Instead of astronauts, there would be explorers of the deep underground. New drilling technologies would be invented to make the digging process more effective. There would be new types of vehicles. They would be created to drill and protect explorers from the enormous underground pressure. While exploring the world under the planet's surface, people would likely find absolutely new life forms. Those would be mysterious creatures that evolved to survive in the dark in extreme temperatures and with barely any food. It certainly helped people understand more about their home planet.